Hey guys, it's Mikey's Mind here, um, back with another book review. Today's uh, book is, again, uh, a slightly different one. I've gone for um, The Old Man and the Sea um, by Ernest Hemingway, and I've never read anything by Hemingway before, um, but I, I, I've got really mixed feelings about this book. Um, I enjoyed it, I'm glad I've read it, no regrets, but it is, it is a, an unusual book. Um, it's a piece of fiction. Uh, Hemingway wrote it in 51, it was published in, in 1952. Um, and yeah, it's about this this uh, aging uh, fisherman called Santiago, and he's on an extremely unlucky streak with his fishing. Um, and he's uh, got a young uh, assistant called Madeline, and he's been sort of um, well, how would you say he's been uh, the young boy has been kind of like turned away from from Santiago. He's been told by his parents he's not to go fishing with Santiago. He's to go fishing with uh, more fortunate fishermen, um, presumably younger fishermen, fitter fishermen. Um, but yeah, he's having this terrible streak, and it tells the story of of his of his sort of trials, his battles with the ocean, his battles with nature, his battles with sea, with the sea and the fish. Um, the reason I've got such mixed feelings is because I think the style um, it's sort of I've got to be careful how I kind of how I kind of word it because. I'm not uh, completely sure what the style is, but it's sort of allegory. It's almost a little bit biblical. Um, it feels like a fable, maybe uh, you would say as well. But it just feels um, it feels kind of clunky, and um, it, with the narration and the the speech, the 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 dialogue um, or the monologue for a lot of the book, he's on his own for a lot of it. It just feels um, really clunky and sort of not unnatural, but. Um, there's not enough, there, there doesn't seem to be enough sort of personality, you couldn't, you, you couldn't tell, I don't think a reader could tell much about this, the speaker, I don't think they could tell much about the old man. Um, and again, I can't, I, 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 you know, if I think about how it's written, when I think of it in my head, it, it's worded like, um, it will say, um, and, uh, and, and the old man was tired, and his hands were tired, and the fish was strong. And the wind was strong, and he kept going. But he was tired. But he kept going, and it feels it feels kind of like that. It's, um, you know, and God saw that it was good. It, it kind of feels like that kind of wording. So it didn't have it didn't buzz me as much as, as some of the books I've read lately. I did enjoy it. I absolutely love the natural imagery. I love um, the relationship he has with the fish that he eventually catches. Um, he calls it brother, and he, he has a lot of respect for 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 the fish and the ocean. Um, he's aware of the, the dangers and um, there's there's quite there's quite a bit of action towards the end which I really enjoyed um, it is really touching at the end there's a beautiful relationship between between this old man and this young boy this young fisherman um, and I thought it was quite a touching ending but you'd have to read it to find out what happens but I really did enjoy it um, will I read more Hemingway possibly not not for a while maybe I'm sure I will eventually one day but I'm not itching to kind of read his back catalogue but interestingly I read a bit of criticism about the book and when the book came out it um, it, uh, it prompted a sort of re-examination of Hemingway's work apparently this book restored faith um, in his ability to write I think it was his last published work I read um, but this book restored some faith among the critics and it and, and clearly it deserved a re-examination of his work so perhaps I should go back and, and read some more from Hemingway um, I love sort of sea stories um, I love adventure I love that kind of thing and and, and this kind of uh, hit some of those marks but not enough for me um, but no I did enjoy it I did enjoy it um, as I say some of the natural the descriptions the natural imagery um, there's some sort of uh, baseball references as well um, they talk about DiMaggio and things like this and, and I just thought it, I thought it was a, a decent book, a really decent book. It's a short novel, um, 96 pages, 97 pages. Um, read it in, a, in in under a couple of hours, I think. Um, but no, I, I, would, I would recommend you read it, being that it's a short read. Um, but perhaps, perhaps there's someone out there that can tell me a little bit more about Hemingway or the style, or perhaps they could explain some of the... the um, yeah the sort of fable allegorical kind of kind of vibe to his work i wonder if you if there's anyone who's read it or knows hemingway that can explain um a little bit more of that to me um but yeah it's um it's an interesting one uh thanks for watching the review guys um if you have any recommendations if you read any hemingway or anything like it uh drop me a comment uh, if you're new to the channel please do subscribe there'll be more book reviews coming very soon um i appreciate you watching guys take care